the house does need to be leveled though. If you Google it, um, you're just gonna put into uh, Google, give me one second, put in Christine Hartunian Sine um, and Bel Air and the house will come up. It was listed for sale July 29th, 2021. So I don't know if it's sold or not. And it's funny because the pictures that I see with Kyle and her together include Faye Resnick in them. Um, I don't see any pictures with just Kyle and her. I always see Faye Resnick. And I part of me wonders, like, is Faye Resnick married to someone related to the Fiji water? Let's see. Let's Google this. See, we're going to go on a little deep dive. This is what happens with my brain when I start thinking of stuff to Google. Faye, Faye, Faye. So right now, I'm... The, her current husband it goes by the name of Everett Jack. That's Everett Jack Jr. His name is Everett Jack. Um, he's the attorney that I guess Kyle Richards had mentioned talking about everything that was going on with um, Tom Girardi's legal troubles. He's the attorney. Resnick was married and divorced three times and gave birth to one daughter, Francesca. In the early 80s, after a failed first marriage, Resnick moved to London to pursue a modeling career and married Fadi Halabi, whom she calls an eccentric heir, and they had their daughter, Francesca. Um, she eventually divorced Halabi, and in 1986, she moved to Los Angeles and married Resnick, an entrepreneur, the following year. Um... It says here, so they're not related. They are not related. Um, the Resnicks paid $1.3 million for a home formerly owned by Walt Disney Company Chairman Michael Eisner, and Faye became active in activities associated with the Beverly Hills School District, where Francesca attended elementary school, such as the Beverly Hills PTA during a 1990-1991 academic year. She served on the board of the Beverly Hills Education Foundation. Obtaining that position required a minimum donation of $1,000 and recognition as a school activist. At the time, reports David Margolik of the New York Times News Service, she also became addicted to drugs. So... I'm um, okay. Well, here we go. Faye and Paul Resnick, a wealthy hotel refurbisher, divorced amicably in 1991. So he had a lot of money. She was addicted to drugs, according to this New York Times report, and they amicably divorced. Faye's set settlement netted her a payout of $194,000. $194, Paul Resnick's daughter is the one who gave us that number. She said Faye was the absolute worst of his five nightmare ex-wives. So this is Jackie Resnick saying this stuff. Although, you know, um, she put a great strain on our relationship. Since then, Jackie has publicly stated that she wrongfully blamed Faye for the strained relationship she had with her father at the time and that she has great love and respect for Faye. So it would seem that maybe her dad, Paul, having been married five times, did not do such a great job. Um, Resnick, Faye Resnick, an admitted cocaine addict, attended multiple drug rehabilitation programs in the eight years preceding November 1994. Consequently, although... She maintained that she was sober at the time her book was published. Her past drug use led some to question her credibility and motives, and the defense team in O.J. Simpson's murder trial to allege that Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman were executed by drug dealers to whom Resnick owed money in, a, in an attempt to scare her. have a sip of wine after that. 
woe is right. See, this is what happens. I never have any intention of, I, she's not even on my list of things to talk about. And here we are, guys. Here we are. Well, maybe we do some deep dives into Faye Resnick. Whoa. <laughs> did, did anyone expect that? I didn't expect that. I wasn't prepared. I did not know that we would just be reading that. But, you know, this is the look of shock and surprise and dismay and all those fun things. Um, so this now, friendship with Nicole Brown Simpson. Resnick and Nicole Brown Simpson first met in 1990, according to Robert Kardashian. I mean, come on, guys, here we go. Faye only knew Nicole for a year and a half. The two socialized with each other in and around Brentwood, Los Angeles, and vacationed in Mexico together. Faye's third husband, Paul Resnick, reported that a concerned Nicole called him in early June 1994 to report that Faye was getting out of control and abusing cocaine again. Resnick stayed for several days at Brown's condominium until on June 9, 1994, Nicole and several other friends conducted an intervention and persuaded Faye to check into the Exodus Recovery Center in Marina Del Rey, California. Three days later, Brown and her friend, Ronald Goldman, were murdered. Whew. Whoa. So, what we can take away from this is that while they might not have had a very long friendship, the friendship that they did have was a very close one because if Faye was staying with Nicole and if Nicole was the one responsible for, uh, you know, or orchestrating this intervention, they must have been very good friends. I think all of us in life, can definitely recount different friendships that, you know, you become friends with someone and you just click and it doesn't matter that you haven't known each other for a long time. Um, they feel like they've been your friend for a long time. So part of me thinks maybe that's what's going on here. Um, wow. Wow. Um, and then it would appear as I continue going through this stuff. So one of the things that I think is like super interesting is Faye, you know, she's an interior designer. Um, she does all of Kyle's houses. We know she actually was like recently in the news because, uh, I guess Paul Nassif had developed this investment property in Bel Air. She was the designer for that. Um, she obviously marries really well, right? Uh, but it's weird because she's super close with Kyle. And what's not weird, she's 64, okay? Uh, Kyle, we know, is 52. So She's actually more of a contemporary, I would think, for like Kathy Hilton in terms of age. Uh, but she's best friends with Kyle. She's also best friends with Kris Jenner. Um, and any of us who have watched, you know, Keeping Up with the Kardashians or whatever, we know that Faye and Chris are best of friends. But no, guys, there is no connection between... So there is no connection between who um, Christine Hartunian was married to. 
the Resnick of Fiji water and Paul Resnick, Faye's ex-husband, whose name she still carries around, which is weird because she was married to him for a very short time and it's not even the name of her child's father, Fadi. So her first marriage lasted from 1978 to 1979. Her second marriage lasted from 1984 to 1986. Her third marriage, which was to Paul Resnick, was from 1987 to 1991. And she's currently been married to Everett Jack Jr. since 2015. So maybe, maybe this one will stick. Did Fadi and Ibrahim have a relationship? I wonder, who knows? You know, it's very funny, but Faye happens to be, you know, when you look at pictures of her from a long time ago, especially, she happens to be like one of those women that despite being in, you know, Beverly Hills or, you know, in this fast crowd, she's a very beautiful lady. I mean, she really is. Um, this is crazy. She was born July 3rd, 1957. She's one of four children born to an African-American father from Georgia. Resnick's father abandoned the family when she was very young. And Faye has claimed her mother was Spanish and Italian at times. At other times, Faye has claimed her mother was Colombian. Faye has also said her mother was Corsican, Castilian, and Anglo-Saxon. According to childhood friends, Faye's mother is Puerto Rican, and Faye and her sister Patricia have gone to great lengths to deny having African-American or Afro-Latin heritage. How weird is that, guys? That's weird, right? It seems like she had a very tough childhood. Her mother, so Faye's mother, uh, worked a day job as a nurse and was a budding journalist at night. And she also she ultimately became a successful columnist who wrote about holistic medicine and later became a Jehovah's Witness, which made Faye's childhood even more chaotic. Resnick, Resnick describes her mother as a religious fanatic whose predictions that Armageddon would come in 1975 prompted Miss Resnick to rush into her first sexual counter encounter beforehand. Resnick, then Faye Hutchinson, left home to live with an aunt in the Bay Area where she was crowned 1975 Maid of Hayward a moment captured in a newspaper photograph showing her on the verge of tears. No apocalypse occurred. It was the beginning of sorts because it gave what it gave what Resnick described as both an ego boost and some career ideas. Resnick claims she attended law courses at a community college. However, there's no record of that. And later became the director of a John Robert Powers finishing and modeling school. However, the organization has no record of her employment. She is a former manicurist. Wow, I think that this was a very exciting, isn't this fun how we landed here? We never would have landed here had it not been for just going with the flow, guys. We went with the flow.